Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. It's like Frontier Airlines. Something incredibly abusive in the air. It's honestly the worst. <laughs> they abuse you before you get on the flight. They make you they make you check your bag and that sizer. Even if it's if it thimble size. Yeah, thimble size like you're gonna put it inside. Do I? Really? Do you <laughs> Come have, on. Do you have depth perception issues? <laughs> like seriously. There's no way that won't fit in there. We both know it. Leave me alone. Uh, whatever Ugh. the case. We got uh we got there, we got back right. Uh, on the flight to Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland, by the way, which you have a bone to pick with for whatever reason. I don't like Cleveland. There's an ex that I've used got to a be, history yeah, there. A little bit of a history <laughs> in Cleveland. Uh, but if you listen to the show last week, you learned about the terrible. We actually played it as our best of from Friday. Your most embarrassing moment where you went on the blind date with the pilot. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So went on a blind date with a pilot. It ended. Poorly. Now, we, we are trying to ball on a budget with this whole situation here. So we were in separate seats. We weren't sat together because you have to pay for that. And that's a whole nother conversation. A stupid Frontier is. Frontier, if I picked a seat, it was 19 bucks. But if you picked the same seat, it was 38. Yeah. Make that make sense. It was ridiculous. So and if dumb. we picked them at the same time, they, yeah, it, same. we both I, pulled up the screen and we had different prices. It makes so no ridiculous. Sense. It makes no sense. Whatever the case. So there I am. I'm sitting in my seat and you are a few rows behind me. And what happens? Uh, you get hit on by a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk up to my seat, right? So let me just paint the picture here. I am in no mood for this, okay? I, on the way to the airport, I'm literally crying because I'm so tired. <laughs> you, well, actually, not joking. <laughs> not joking. I am in tears because I am so tired after the long week I've had. We get to the airport. I'm in no mood. I walk onto the plane. I get to my seat. I make zero eye contact with the person that's already on the window seat. I'm in the middle seat. So I throw my bag down. I crawl into my seat. I sit down. I take a deep breath. <sighs> You're about to this, assume the position, by I'm the way. I'm about to assume which my position. Which is tray position. table down, smack her head down in the tray table and fall asleep for four hours. Exactly. That's her position. Yeah. I get in my seat. All of a sudden, I hear you know, what you really need is one of these. Oh. And <laughs> I look over to my left and this man is holding this uh, like eye mask, like one of those like puffy, like cushioned yeah. eye masks. I have one of those. I don't typically fly with them because there is a lot of ridicule that comes with that. However, yeah. yeah. And so he so says this is that. his icebreaker. Yeah. This is the icebreaker. I say, buddy, look, I don't need one of those because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm about to smack my head down on this table and fall asleep on my pillow. Yeah. He then keeps talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> he explains to me that he is a pilot oh, as well wow. for Frontier. I'm like, oh my gosh, wow, amazing. Like, how long have you been a pilot? He says uh, he's been flying for Frontier for four months. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Um, he talks to me a bit about that hmm. to try and deter him away. <laughs> I say, oh my gosh, I went on a date with a pilot once and I literally blanked myself <laughs> on the plane. She pooped herself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does not deter him away. And I said this Unreal. last week. It does not take, I mean, it takes a lot to get a guy off the scent of a pretty girl. So you could say flat out, I poop myself on planes and she'd be like, cool. He brought it up again like four times. Like he was impressed. Like he... <laughs> It was like, he brought it up so many times after that. He continues to keep talking to me. He, he like asked, he asked me what I do. I explain I do radio. I bring up the fact that the person I am dating is four seats in front of us, like a few times at least. And, and his response was, was he too cheap to pay his first seat next to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I just keep reiterating the fact. I, here's the thing. I would pay for the seat next to you if you weren't going to be asleep. Yeah. The <laughs> but you're is, always asleep. I It never fails. I sleep better on planes than I do in my own bed. <laughs> you sleep better in cars better than your own bed. I do. You're the worst I have the person worst mattress. Ever. I have the worst mattress. Yeah. At home, it's bad. Um, but yeah, he <laughs> he keeps talking to you now that he knows that even though I'm you yeah, know, four, uh, yeah, keeps okay. talking to me. Um, I explained to him I'm in radio. He asks what kind of music we play. I explain that. He's like, you know who's really great? He starts giving me like recommendations of artists to listen to. Um, just like are continue. any of them good? You know, I told him I was like, you know, I'll have to listen to that. I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> Um, but I told him I said I would listen to this, but I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> 
I basically said, see you in Cleveland and smack my head down in, <laughs> on the tray table. And I literally did not wake up until we, we the guy came over the thing. He was like, we're, in, we're beginning our initial descent into <laughs> Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did he talk to you after that? Um, A little bit. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Um. Did he, my, did he follow the station or follow you? He got my Instagram. Oh, boy. Instagram. Okay. Um, and that was that. Haven't spoken to him since. I'm, okay. It's not like I'm going to talk to him at this point. Yeah, maybe he's listening right now. He could be. Mm. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, have you ever been with someone that just constantly gets hit on? Seven zero two five nine seven one zero two seven. This is like a regular thing for you, where people just you have a hit on me face. Do I? It's a little bit. Thank you. You're, well, it's, it's, it's a positive. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, you, you're, you're, you're a pleasant person. You're attractive. People end up Thank talking you. to you and trying to make their move constantly. Thanks. And as the person on the other side, you have to be very confident in yourself. <laughs> Same happens to you. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm 40 and overweight and a dad. Hi. <laughs> All right, ladies. All right, now. Please, Stay away. Please. No, it's just, uh, it's an interesting thing, but you ever find yourself in that situation? I am of the belief that if you're with someone that's constantly getting hit on, that means you've got a really great person. Wow. <laughs> so, like, you're all right. That's Thank good. Thank you. We had, a, we had a big old laugh, and it was lovely. And I said, you know, like, he's a, a pilot on Frontier. So it's like, yeah. But he was a pilot on JetBlue. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can, like, Jet fina Blue, you can yeah. finagle this into, like, some actual quality seats. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. Be, that'd be lovely. Oh, who's a, uh, you've had, I mean, you've had rich people hit on you before. It's, there's been an array <laughs> of different, different kinds of people. <laughs> it's been a really wide spread. <laughs> What's uh, really interesting. How difficult is it when they just don't get the clue? It sucks. <laughs> because it's really hard for me. I'm not the type of person that's like super aggressive. Like I I've had to learn how to be more aggressive, but to try and like get somebody to stop and like get the hint, yeah, you have to be so like straightforward with them. That's why I brought up three or four times, the person I'm dating <laughs> is up there. <laughs> he, I, you know, I'm like, he also does radio, blah, blah, blah. He's up there. Yeah. He's on this flight. I am with him. Did you get his name? I did. <laughs> I don't know his name, but uh, hey, <laughs> it's up there, Dwight. I'm just guessing it's Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> Dwight. We also, we learned that it doesn't take a lot to be a pilot for Frontier. Yeah, very interesting. He was explaining to me that you apparently need like 1,500 flight hours? hours. Yeah. And that just doesn't seem like a whole lot to me. No, it doesn't. Um, I He, he explained it used to be like you needed 3,000 or something. Um, but discount carrier, man. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> wow. Hey, you know, I only did half of what they had to do back in the day. I'm a pilot, did you know? Sorry, I'm a little oh, I guess. <laughs> hey! 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 Hey!